Hello everyone, welcome to Agile Rank Mate, your partner in education. Today we will be looking at Allen's Talent Encouragement Exam or Talentex. And today we will be looking at sample question paper for grade 8. So let's begin, shall we? Okay, so this is the first question in biology. Which energy pyramid most accurately shows the energy relationships between three organisms in this food web? So, uh, this is a food web which uh, shows which organisms consumes uh, uh, another organisms. And here, we have to find out which of these energy pyramids which is there in the options accurately shows the energy relationships so an energy pyramid is basically showing which organism consumes another with so on and so forth so for example if we have three organisms x y and z and they are placed in order like this x y and z now this shows that y eats x and z eats y and if we are seeing it in a food uh, in a food chain or a food web we will see this as this uh, like this so basically uh, it'll be like this which says uh, x is being consumed by y and y is being consumed by z so if we look at the options option a says uh, algae protozoa bacteria now if we look at the three organisms in this food web we can see that the uh, part uh, which says that uh, algae is consumed by protozoa is correct. So this uh, two of them is correct. But if we look at bacteria, uh, bacteria uh, over here is uh, in a totally different food chain. Uh, it's in the same food web, but uh, it's in a different food chain. So that's why option A is incorrect. If you look at option uh, C, uh, we can see that it is the relationship between crayfish, dead organisms, and bacteri bacteria. So these are the three organisms which are there in the uh, energy pyramid. Uh, and if we see over here, uh, uh, here, the part which says the uh, uh, upper part which says the organisms are eaten by crayfish is correct, but uh, the below part which says that uh, back uh, dead organisms eat bacteria is incorrect because over here, uh, if we look at the arrow closely, it says that dead organisms are being eaten by bacteria so option c is incorrect now uh the uh, if we look at option d it says other uh, relationship between amphipodia amphipod amphipods catfish and crayfish now uh, uh the uh, part which says the below part which is catfish uh, crayfish is eaten by catfish is correct while the above part is incorrect because if you look closely it's uh, uh, the arrow is showing that amphibots are being eaten by catfish not the opposite so option D is incorrect if you look at option B which is the correct answer we can say uh, we can see that highlights algae snails and diving beetles which is correct because over here the arrow is pointing to snails which means algae is being eaten by snails here the arrow is pointed to uh, diving beetles which means snails are being eaten by diving beetles so option b is the correct answer for this question 
Next question. The metal X shows similar chemical properties with aluminum and when kept on palm, it starts to melt. So, from here, uh, we can take out some clues over here. What f the first clue is that it is a metal because in the question it says the metal X. So it's a metal while the second clue is when kept on palm it starts to melt which ba is basically saying it has a uh, low melting point as compared to the temperature of a human. So uh, if we look at the first clue it says metal X. Now, if we are to look at the options, A. Gallium is a metal. Gold is a metal. Germanium is not a metal and bromine is not a metal. Germanium is a metalloid, while bromine is a non-metal. So, we can cancel option C and option D. Now, the second clue is when cupped on palm it starts to melt now even if uh, you don't know the answer uh, the a is the correct answer for this question even if you don't know the answer we can look at option b and guess it uh, so uh, we can eliminate option b since uh, in our day-to-day -day life we can see gold used in various purposes but it doesn't start to melt when it's keep kept in a hand and it has a high melting point so that's why option b is incorrect so that's how we arrive at the answer option a gallium is the correct answer for this question okay so this is the next question on physics study the circuit shown here which switch if opened will cause the light bulb to stop glowing a, P, B, Q, C, R, and D, S. So over here, there's a circuit which is made for a battery, uh, some uh, four switches, and uh, a bulb. And right now, the bulb is glowing since all of the switches are closed. Now, we have to find which switch, if opened, would cause the light bulb to stop glowing. Which basically means that electricity... stops flowing so if electricity has to flow the electrons from the positive terminal of the battery must uh, travel all uh, around the circuit through the uh, light bulb and back to the negative terminal of the battery so that the light bulb will be glow and uh, will be glow and the electricity will uh, electricity will flow so we we had to find which switch if opened will uh, make the electricity stop flowing so let's look at uh, Q if switch Q was not there then the electrons coming from the positive terminal would not be able to go through here and would not travel from Q to the light bulb but the electrons can take a different route which is through here which it also connects to the bulb so this means that electricity will be flowing through it and the bulb uh, will still be glowing since the electricity can pass through the switch S so option B Q is incorrect now, since we saw Q uh, S through S, uh, let's look if S had been not there, but Q is there. So, if S had been not there, electricity would not be able to travel through here. But, if uh, the el electricity can travel, travel the longer route through switch Q and switch R and reach at the light bulb and the electricity can start flowing so uh, if uh, switch S is opened it would not cause a change so option D S is also incorrect now let's look if 
at if R was open. So let's say R wasn't open. Now this means that electricity from which travel to switch Q would not be able to travel further through the light bulb back to the battery but the electricity can take this route through switch S and go through the battery so uh, this would not stop the electricity from flowing so option C R is also incorrect so the correct answer for this question is switch P now if switch P was not there the positive uh, the electricity from the positive terminal of the battery cannot travel further and it has no alternative route that it can take uh, to travel from uh, travel further so that's why if uh, switch P is opened the electricity will not be able to flow and light bulb will stop glowing so option A P is the correct answer for this question Next question math on mathematics. If the ratio of circumference of two circles is 17 is to 19, what is the ratio of the areas? A. 175, 175 divided by 258. B. 334 divided by 39. C. 289 divided by 361. And option D. 17 divided by 19. So, first to answer this question, uh, let's look at, uh, look at the question itself. It says the ratio of circumference of, uh, of the circumference of two circles is 17 is to 19. Now the formula for circumference is 2 pi r. So 2 and pi would be same in both of these circles. The only uh, variation would be in r. So let's say uh, the uh, let radius of first circle be x and radius of second circle be y. So 2 pi x divided by 2 pi y would be equal to 17 uh, divided by 19 because 17 divided by 19 is uh, the same as 17 is to 19. Now if we look at the left hand side of this equation we can cancel 2 pi in both the numerator and denominator which is, and so then we get uh, that the x is to y is the same as 17 is to 19. So the radius of both of these circles and the ratio of 17 is to 19. So, the, the, let's look at what the question is asking. It is asking us to find the ratio of the areas. So, the formula for finding the area of a circle is pi r square. So, uh, we get pi x square divided by pi, uh, pi y square so we can cancel pi and we get as x square divided by y square now we got x by y is equal to 17 by 19 so we can uh, uh, replace the values so we get 17 square divided by 19 square now uh, 17 square is equal to 289 and 19 square is equal to 361 so uh, the ratio of the areas will be 289 is to 361 or 289 divided by 361 so option C is the correct answer since this uh, represents the ratio of the areas of the two circles so option C is the right answer for this question on mathematics. That's all folks. We hope you found it interesting. For more useful videos, please subscribe to our channel Agile Rank Mate. Until the next episode, take care, stay safe, bye bye for now.